Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem. So the question is find Vx and V0 in the circuit of this figure. Okay, we are asked to find out what is Vx and what is V0. And we have uh, in an independent source here, 70 volt. And we have also a dependent voltage source with the value of 2Vx. Okay, let's see what can we get from here. And I think we will use KVL. So we need the loops here. Let's name this loop here as I1. I1. Good. And what can we get from this loop I1? Let's see. We can calculate Vx, right? So what is Vx? Vx is equal to... Okay, the current here is flowing from the positive side to the negative side. So our sign will be positive and that will be I1 multiplied by the resistance between them. So I will have 10 ohm, right? Or this one will be Vx is equal to 10 I1. Good. And then what else that we can get? We can get V0. Okay, V0. But here, the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. It goes from here to there. So our sign will be negative because it's going into negative terminal. So I will have minus I1. And then the resistance is 5 ohm. So we'll have multiplied by 5. Okay, that means that our V0 here is equal to minus 5 I1. Good, and this is uh, an important value here because we can do KVL at loop I1. KVL at loop I1. Okay, what does the Kirchhoff voltage allow? Say it. That will be the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. So our loop is this I1 here. But we have to be very careful about the sign, right? Okay, let's start from this 70 volt voltage source. Okay, and here the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal like this, right? It goes from the negative sign. So we will have the minus sign. And then the magnitude here is 70. So I will have 70. The voltage is 70. Good. And then we can play the same game for all the components in the loop. Okay, here we have the current goes there and it goes into positive terminal. So we'll have plus. But then the voltage here is Vx. So we'll have plus Vx. Good. Now let's go to this component here, the dependent voltage source. And the current goes into positive terminal here. So our sign will be positive. And then the voltage here is 2Vx. So we'll have 2Vx here. Good. We need one more component here, this 5 ohm resistor. And again, here the current comes from negative terminal and goes to positive terminal. So our sign will be negative. But then the magnitude is V0, the, the value of the voltage will be V0. And I think we get all the components done here. All of that will equal to 0. Good. Now let's simplify things. Uh, and I think we will have Vx plus 2Vx, that will be 3Vx. And then minus, we will have V0. Okay, and then let's move this minus 20 to the right-hand side. So we will have 70 there. Good. Now what can we do from here? We have Vx here, and we know that Vx is 10I1. We also have V0, and we also know that V0 is minus 5I1. Let's substitute that. So we will have 3 multiplied by 10I1. And then minus, we will have this one here. V0 is minus 5I1. Okay, and all of that will equal to 70. Okay, 
3 multiplied by 10, that will be 30, I1. And then minus and minus will become plus, and then we will have 5, I1. And all of that will equal to 70. So we will have 35 of I1 is equal to 70. And so we can divide 35 by, divide both sides by 35. So we'll have 70 divided by 35. Good. And now we will have I1. What is I1? 70 divided by 35. That will be 2 ampere. And this is one of the most important value here. I1 is 2 ampere. But then the question does not ask us about I1. But it is asking about Vx and V0. But we already know what Vx is and what V0 is. So the second step will be answering the question. Answer the question. Oh, why? Why is my pen? Yeah, I have some problem with the pen. So let's do answer the question okay we will have px there px is equal to 10 i1 but then i1 is 2 ampere so we'll have 10 multiplied by 2 and therefore we know that px is equal to 20 and the unit here because this is volt and this is ohm, and I think that will be in SI unit. So we will have 20 volt here. And we have done one of this question, which is Vx. And now let's move on to another, which is V0. What is V0? We will have minus 5 multiplied by I1. which is minus 5 multiplied by 2 ampere and therefore our V0 will be minus 10 volt. Okay, and I think that's all for this question. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.